Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about lectins and some people are very, very sensitive to these. They're basically carbohydrate binding proteins in certain foods that react with your system, especially your digestive system, and create uh, bloating, damage with your intestinal lining, gas, all sorts of GI symptoms. And I would say if you are trying to solve this problem and you just can't seem to solve your digestive issue, you can't figure it out, then you get a blood test and test for lectins because you can even have antibodies that your body's making that are attacking this in the food, creating this inflammatory condition. And no matter what you do, it just never goes away. You have to eliminate foods that are high in lectins, okay? There's three things that you can do with foods to decrease the amounts in general germinate them, which is soak them overnight in some water and then put them through a dryer. Sprout them will lower lectins and ferment the foods that will also lower the lectin amounts. So in reality, lectins are part of a defense mechanism to ward off pests, bugs, and microbes, okay? But it can really affect our bodies big time. So let's cover some of the high lectin type foods. Barley, oat, rice, Wheat, quinoa, rye, those would be the grains. Now check this out, milk, kefir, yogurt, cheese, fish, or beef, if it's grain-fed cows, okay? Grain-fed animal products, even grain-fed fish, believe it or not, that's what they feed a lot of these fish, grain-fed cattle, um, you, you want grass-fed, okay, to lower the lectin levels. Beans, lentils, soy, peanuts, chocolate are all high in lectins. Almonds, cashew, pine nuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, high in lectins. Corn, canola, cotton seed, all GMO, right? Peanut, safflower oils, okay? You want to stay away from those if you are suspecting a problem with this. Sugar, tomato, squash, and cucumber. So if you don't want to get a blood test, just avoid these foods for like three days and see if you feel better, okay? And the question is, what can you eat what have low lectins? Let's go through the list. Wild rice, pecans, flax seed, hemp seed, pistachio nuts, walnuts. Dairy and beef that's grass fed, and that includes all the cheese and that type of thing. Pasture raised chickens and eggs. Wild caught fish and seafood. Coconut, olives and olive oil, sesame seeds, avocado, palm oil, and walnuts. Berries and all of the vegetables. So if you look at this, if you're on the ketogenic diet, it's pretty much this right here. You're doing grass-fed dairy, beef. Of course, you're not doing wild rice, but you're doing uh, pecans, you're doing certain nuts, wild-caught fish, coconut, avocado, olive oil. You're doing a lot of vegetables. So you would naturally feel better just by going on the keto, when in fact you could also be lowering your lectins. All right, so I put some more information down below you can check out. And thanks so much for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.